Hello, my name is Mrs. Badila. Look at all these beautiful cranes flying here. Imagine counting every single one of those. Can you? <laughs> well, you know, we live here in the United States and here every 10 years we have something we call the census. It just means that we have to count everybody in America. It's important because every community will be able to get the money they need to help build schools, help repair roads, have adequate health care, and many other things that we need for that community to be well off. That means we need to count everybody in every house or apartment in every community. You have to count your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, your grandparents, not your pets, just the people, but everybody who lives in that house or that apartment needs to be counted. Now that reminds me of a story about counting. This is a story. It's called Just a Minute. <laughs> There's a character in this story that if you know about the Day of the Dead, it looks like a character from a movie about that. But this character is somebody who comes for you when it's time to go. Well, Grandma Beetle has another plan because she wants to stick around a little bit longer. Just a minute. <laughs> Do you know how to count in English and in Spanish? Today we'll try. We're going to end up counting all the way to 10, like the year of the census, every 10 years. When Grandma Beetle woke at dawn, she heard a knock at the door. And, oh my, waiting outside she found Senor Calavera. And she knew what that meant. Senor Calavera tipped his hat. Ooh, what a skinny gentleman. With a pass of his hand, he signaled to Grandma Beetle. It was time for her to come along with him. She wasn't ready to go. So, Grandma Beetle said, Just a minute, Senor Calavera. Grandma Beetle said, I will go with you right away. I just have one house to sweep. Senor Calavera remembered mm, he had extra time today, so he decided to wait. Uno. One swept house counted Senor Calavera, and then he rose, began to put his hat back on, rose from his seat, time to go. But Grandma Beetle had another plan. Just a minute, Senor Calavera. Grandma Beetle said, I will go with you right away. I just have two pots of tea to boil. <laughs> Senor Calavera sighed. Waiting a little longer wouldn't hurt anybody. Not after all. Dos, two steaming pots of tea. Senor Calavera counted them as he headed for the door. He thought it was over. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I just have three pounds of corn to make into tortillas. Senor Calavera rolled his eyes. He had to be very patient sometimes. Tres. Three stacks of tortillas, counted Senor Calavera, and he put on his hat. 
he thinks we're about to go. <laughs> Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go with you right away. I just have four fruits to slice. Senor Calavera frowned. This was taking more time than he had expected. Cuatro, four fruits made into salad, counted Senor Calavera, and he motioned that they should go. <laughs> what do you think? Just a minute, Senor Calavera. Grandma Beetle said, I will go with you right away. I just have five cheeses to melt. Ooh, I love a queso. Oh, see, cheese. Senor Calavera tapped his fingers. This was getting out of hand. Cinco, five melted cheeses, counted Senor Calavera. And he hurried to help Grandma Beetle with her sweater. He wants to get out of there now. But Grandma Beetle has other ideas. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, said Grandma Beetle. I will go with you, I will. I have just six pots of food to cook. That could take time. <laughs> Senor Calavera threw up his hands. What else could he do? Seis. Says pots of delicious food, counted Senor Calavera, and he offered Grandma Beetle his arm, like a gentleman, to escort her out. Mm -mm. <laughs> That's not what Grandma Beetle wanted to do. Just a minute, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle said. I will go, I will go, I will go right away. I just have seven piñatas to fill with candy. And you see, she has Senor Calavera helping all the way. Senor Calavera shook his head in disbelief. It was getting late now. Siete, seven piñatas full of candy, counted Senor Calavera. And he held open the door for Grandma Beetle. <laughs> Just a minute, Senor Calavera, please. Grandma Beetle said, I will go with you. I will go. I will go with you. I just have eight platters of food to arrange on the table. Enough. Senor Calavera could take no more. Ocho. Eight platters of food set on the table, but Senor Calavera had lost count. He was too busy stomping on the floor. He was pretty mad. Oh, look, Senor Calavera, Grandma Beetle exclaimed. Here come my grandchildren. Senor Calavera took a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, just like you're going to do when you count everybody in your house for the census. You count everybody who lives there. Nine, nueve, nine beautiful grandchildren came through the door. <laughs> Look how happy Grandma Beetle is. Oh. The children sat at the table, everyone at his place. Now, Grandma Beetle said, all my guests are here, and together they make ten. But the guests sitting at the table counted only nine. Grandma, the children protested, where's guest number ten? Here he is, she answered, diez. Number ten, of course, is Senor Calavera. <laughs> Look how surprised he is. He wasn't expecting to be a guest. It was time to celebrate Grandma Beetle's birthday. When the birthday cake was all aflame, Grandma Beetle blew out the candles with a gust. 
like a hurricane. Strong and powerful. Look at her surrounded by all that love and affection. When the party was over, Grandma Beetle kissed her grandchildren one by one. Then she announced, I am ready, Senor Calavera. It was time for her to go. But, oh my, where was Senor Calavera? Grandma Beetle found only a note. Look at her winking her eye happily because the note said, Dear Grandma Beetle, your birthday party was a scream. I had fun like never before. I wouldn't miss your next birthday party for anything in the world. You can count on that. Sincerely yours, Senor Calavera. He's into counting. And for the census, we have to be into counting too. Because to have all the possibilities that we can for our community, the census people need to know how many of us there are in every home. So please make sure when the census comes around, participate. For your parents, remember, you can go online and do the census. You can go to 2020census.gov, or you can go by phone. You can go to the library and have help to do the census as well. But it's very important to make sure that all the possibilities that the children can have, and elders can have, and everybody in the community can enjoy will come from us all participating and letting them know how many of us there are. They need to know the kinds of things that we need. They won't know if they don't know how many of us there are here. So participate as well as you can by going online, count the children, count the adults, count everybody but the pets, and participate.